morning guys happy Sunday I am I just got up like 10 minutes ago and I'm going to the gym for my usual arms and abs class because a lot of it um, we are like laying on the floor and I can handle that I can you know modify where I need to and then I'll do my <coughs> my biking the right my right gland has been hurting me since last night when I left my parents house I can't get sick this week. <laughs> so I gotta get a green juice for sure today. And um, I'll take my fresh greens like every day this week, twice if I have to a day, because this girl's not getting sick before we're at it. Um, then I have to go to the meat market and to the pet store. I may get a manicure pedicure, be and what other errands do I have to run? I have to go to CVS. Like I just have to do like a lot of like silly errands today. Um, but I wanna get as much of them done as I can before having to go back up the stairs. Like I'm trying to minimize my amount of traveling up and down the stairs if I can. I don't know why, but that's just what everybody has suggested. So I'm trying to listen to everybody as well. I don't know. I'm just happy to go to this class and I hope that I can like sweat. Three weeks without sweat is making me crazy. Feels so good to burn closer to 400 calories this morning and to be part of a classroom setting because I think that's why I love my like workout so much just because I'm in a class and I'm with all my friends and I don't know and you just feed off of each other's energy so being in there today definitely helped I am now gonna go to the meat market I've got my peach from the farmers market yesterday here and people are staring at me from the gym as they walk by so it's kind of awkward but yeah I feel a little bit better so I'm happy this is usually the brand that I get, but I get it at Target, and I think it's cheaper at Target. But I didn't check when I went there on Friday. I don't know if I want to go there right now, because they didn't have my makeup remover there. But I can't remember if it's cheaper at Target. I'm going to be pissed if it is, and I'm overspending. The girl's got a budget. I also have to get makeup remover, but this line looks like Olay gave themselves a facelift. No. I don't know guys, I hate changing my lotion because it, like, I'll make my skin break out and I really can't afford to have more breakouts than I already am right now, you feel me? I am having the best luck today. I don't know what it is, but I'm not gonna jinx it. So, I went to the meat market, I got one and a third pound chicken breast just to have. I got Eddie a marinated hanger steak because he loves it there, so I picked that up for him. I also got him two pounds of beef on a stick, which is like, he loves these. And I have, this is the most I've ever gotten. And the guy gave me a little extra marinade to let it sit in there. So he'll have that. And then I picked up more of their bacon cheeseburger patties because these are something we either like to have in the freezer or they're just like a quick meal um, to have during the week. So normally when I go there, I kind of like buy stuff to stock up a little bit on meat. This is uh, a decent amount of protein if you ask me and it was $35 which is awesome uh, then I went to CVS because I needed to get the face lotion which I was telling you guys when I was there and now I've gone to two different stores I went to Target on Friday and to CVS and neither one had the Maybelline uh, waterproof eye makeup remover which is like my holy grail eye makeup remover for the past two years or ever since it came out I remember how long it's been and I can't find it so I hope it's not like my Garnier Fructis <laughs> Uh, length and strength shampoo and conditioner which is no longer available anywhere and I'm like devastated over it so I'm gonna give the um, simple eye makeup remover a try and hope it's good it says it removes waterproof mascara I don't wear waterproof mascara but I do wear waterproof liquid eyeliner and I also find that because I use so many layers and two different mascaras every time I do my makeup it takes forever to get it off so well that's the test the best is the Maybelline though, that comes in the pink bottle. And then I got another one of the oil-free face lotions. Um, this I got for Eddie. He, uh, since his hair is much longer now, he has been trying new products and he wanted a gel that made his hair stay um, that, like looking wet. So I found this as I was like looking through um, the shampoo aisle and it's Hair Situation Mr. Cool Wet Look Gel. Strong hold, intense shine, alcohol free. So we'll see if he likes that. It was like $10, it was pretty pricey if you ask me. 
for gel because one, I don't use gel and two, to spend money on men's products is funny to me. And then I'm trying a new shampoo and conditioner because I don't like the Pantene Pro-V one that I'm using, which is for length and strength. Um, this is the Keratin Smooth by Tresemme and I got it on it because it was on sale and I like to switch up my shampoo and conditioner um, as often as possible. Like every time I buy um, shampoo and conditioner, I, I try to alternate or even when I'm in the shower, I always have two different sets. I don't know why, it's just something I've always done. And these smell really nice and anything that helps frizz is always a win in my book considering I don't style my hair much anymore. And when I was checking out, I got $10 off in gas. Like I got a gas card, which was awesome. I didn't know CVS was doing that. And I don't know. And then Max's Food, uh, which is already at my parents because they're still there. I got and it was on sale and it was in stock, which is a huge win because they never have either of those things for us. So Sunday wind day. Best movie ever. while updating my computer because I put off all of my updates. Does anybody else do that if you have a Mac? I wait for like weeks and weeks and weeks before I do my updates. Eddie just left for work. He was running super late because this, fun fact, Clueless is one of Eddie's all time favorite movies. Besides Jurassic Park, which is his favorite, Clueless is like his top five probably. So the fact that it was on TV and I put it on, I probably shouldn't have. Um, he was just really into it. Also, update, I used the new shampoo and conditioner that I bought this morning, and my hair, even though it's still drying, it feels softer, like, um, not as frizzy, so, let's see, fingers crossed, and the World Cup, final World Cup game is in a little while. I can't see myself moving from the couch anytime soon, but maybe. One frozen banana, handful of fresh farmer's market blueberries, half of a cucumber, and three teaspoons? Yeah, three teaspoons of fresh greens. That's my get better quick. Let's see what it tastes like. What do you mean? so quiet. Super fresh to me. I can taste the fresh greens just because they added more than you're supposed to, but I am kicking it up because I can't. I can't. I just cannot be sick. Not happening. Not allowed, body. You hear that? Not allowed. I just realized since I haven't straightened my hair in like forevs, my hair got so long. And when did I cut it? Like three months ago now? I don't even remember, but uh, I straightened it because it'll be done for work tomorrow. And that way it's just one less thing to worry about. One less problem without you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and now I'm off to my parents' house because I'm gonna watch the game there and then come back here and just chill. I'm hoping that, I was just thinking about this because I, I'm an overthinker and a worrier. I hope I don't have like an infection in my body from surgery, but is that possible two weeks later? <laughs> Please tell me no, I doubt it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, not anything serious. Got my nails, dude. That's Berry Daring by OPI. My food mat. My leopard berry is so not me. Now to my parents' house for the rest of the Germany-Argentina game and it's 0-0 still. I don't even know who I'm rooting for, to be honest with you. And Germany wins the World Cup. Such a boring game. Like, probably out of all the games that I've watched in this whole World Cup series, whatever it's called, that was the worst. But my mom bought me this pair of white shorts with a lace detail. They were on sale at Loft today, and I like Loft's shorts because they're longer. And for someone like me who doesn't love their legs especially now that i can't really go ham in the gym um i i just i love their shorts and i only own now three pairs that pair this pair and my brown pair that's it I'm not big into shorts dresses and skirts yes but shorts not so much and then i took one of her maxis this is the print for me to bring next weekend to rhode island like any girl i will definitely be over packing um i'm not gonna pack until thursday night though so I thought it was nice that she got me those shorts. I love them. All right, kids, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I'm going to watch the rest of this old Glee episode that's on right now, which I can't believe it's been one year since Corey Monteith passed away. Insane. Um, and then Big Brother's on. I'm probably going to just call it a night because my throat is bothering me. I just had some ice cream to try and numb it because we don't have any numbing spray. So my tongue is really cold and numb. But I hope you guys had a great weekend, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.